Hello and welcome to Clan TV. While Brayhead Clan remain top of the Elite League, however, it's a narrow lead. Indeed, should Sheffield and Cardiff win their games in hand, just three points will separate the top three teams. No room for error. And yet, all of them face potential banana skins tonight. Cardiff play fourth place Belfast Giants. Sheffield travel to a resurgent Coventry Blaze. And here tonight at Brayhead Arena, the clan take on their top Scottish rivals, the Five Flyers. Zach Fitzgerald makes a welcome return to the roster tonight, especially when Matt Nickerson in town. Those two have already dropped the gloves this season. However, with a limited clan roster already suffering from suspensions in the shape of Chris Frank and injury, Kavanagh and Lee Esters. Well, Zach may have to put up an emotional and physical wall, ignore the chirping and keep their eyes on the prize at the end of the season. It's another big, big game. Let's go ringside. Well, Toby Craig, just about to drop the puck. This has been a tasty rivalry all season, and we expect this to be the same. Both teams still plenty to play for a fight. No, they are not safe. They're playing small. They're still in danger. They want to put a bit of space between themselves and the team chasing. Clan, of course, in the hunt for the elite league. And it's Captain Keith who fires straight in, and Matt Nicholson says no. That's exactly what we're expecting from the start. Stefan Meyer getting involved there, Craig. A feisty start if ever we expected one. Certainly is, Matt Nickerson in the thick of it already, just 18 seconds into the game. He'll certainly be up for this one, Nickerson, never a man to shirk a challenge when one comes around. But yeah, another big night for, for Brayhead Clan. To, to paraphrase Ryan Finnerty the other day, the conference has gone now. The league title is the main aim for this team. Two points here tonight are an absolute must. Well... First face off. Matt Keith comes away with the puck for the clan. Oh. Fitzgerald and Nickerson are getting it out of the way. Right at the beginning. Fancy and Susie came on, calling out Matt Nickerson. The, drop, the gloves are dropped. These two giant men are about to go at it in the first period here at Brayhead Arena. Fancy and Matt Nickerson. Fish comes on overhand, overhand, right in. Oh, Fitzgerald. Nickerson down on his knees. Nickerson is down. He comes back up. Into a beer hub. Fitzgerald had him down on his east twice, and Nickerson's back up. Oh my god, we both go down. Fitzgerald takes a massive front, Nickerson brings him here. What an excellent, excellent battle at what? the start of this. What into a way to an inch return from suspension for Zach Fitzgerald, straight into it with Matt Nickerson. I said Nickerson was up for it tonight, and there he was, right there, the two men going at it. Fitzgerald had him on the ropes on a couple of occasions, slipped in the end, it looks as though Nickerson may have got the upper hand, but still, five minutes each for these guys. What a way to get this game started. Fritch, cross ice pass to Salters, who just squares up. Flyers now look to break. Mellon, backhanded pass out to Wands. Wands loses out though, and Stefan Meyer breaking away your support. It's Pitt, Scotty Pitt! Oh, wonderful work from Scotty! Scotty Pitt! He took his time, he got the angle, Regan went down early. Scotty Pitt called it, near side, lovely goal. Clan one, Flyers still. A terrific finish from Ray High Clan, the turnover. Chris Wands couldn't do much about it. Stefan Meyer mugged him just outside the clan zone. Played it inside early for Scott Pitt. Pitt showed great stick work and managed to get the puck beyond Kevin Regan. And it's the home team that are ahead after just over six minutes. Scott Pitt scores his 29th of the season. Now it's Chris Auger at the face-off. Defeating Neil Trem. Scott Pitt trying to dig it out for the clan as the Flyers try and create an opportunity here now. It's Lukevich who gets in there and tries to keep it alive and Fitzgerald digs it out for the clan. A big searching saucer pass out wide to Scott Pitt. Scott Pitt checks back inside, holds up the play, tries to get it into the centre. We have another opportunity here now. It's opened up for him. Scott Pitt fires it in, it looks loose. Oh, and Trim just tried to fire it in. Off balance and it just went a little wide. Great opportunity there, Craig. Yeah, just all of a sudden opened up for him. So he took the opportunity, took it forward. Scott Pitt waiting at the back door, ready to slam it home. Didn't quite come off for him and it went wide. Well, opportunity there for Jordan Fulton. Tried to go high, stick side on Kyle Jones. Not the easier places to put it. Here will be another chance here for the Flyers. Takes back inside, looks for the wraparound. Oh, and it's taken a nasty deflection off the skate of Jamie Fritch. 
credit goes to keeping the tenacious work going for the Flyers and to try and carve up an opportunity. But a really unfortunate way to concede for the clan. Yeah, we just kind of slithered into the net there. Lukasovic doing very well, taking the puck round, the, round behind the net there, and it just kind of slipped in past Jones. Jones couldn't do anything about it. Sometimes you lose those ones, but it's an important equaliser for five. Fritch to Trim. Just 22 seconds left as Neil Trim sneaks his way closer and closer. Fires it all the way across to Scott Pitt. Couldn't get a shot away. He would now. No one in the slot for the clan at the moment, so it comes all the way back. And Jamie Fritch does really well to keep that one inside the blue line. Just three seconds left. Clan trying to fire one away. And he certainly managed to do that. Tremendous from Neil Trim. It's a clan power play goal. And they go ahead. Two, yeah, two seconds left on that power play. Neil Trim slams the puck into the net. Great play from Clan in the build up. I think it was Derek Rail set him up from the middle. Pit, uh, sorry, Trim right at the back post. Thrashes it into the net. Clan have at least 30 seconds from the end of the first period. One minute 20 on the power play. Flyers streaming forward now in numbers. Real pace about this move from Matt Reber as he checks inside. Has to go around the goal. Looks for the wraparound. It comes even wider. Deeks back, checks back inside. Holds it up. Looks for the cross ice pass, but it comes back to the point instead. Nickerson returns the favour. Pushes in. Chips up for the shot, and it's a really well worked goal from the Flyers. Fakes for the shot, and I think it's Matt Reber in the end who just placed it in the back door, which was left wide open. Yeah, Matt Reber, a, a goal almost identical to the one Neil Trim scored at the end of the first period. The puck fed in from the right hand side. Reber free at this back door, and he slams it in past Kyle Jones. The Flyers are level. And it'll be interesting to see if fatigue becomes a factor later on. Bear in mind, Clan are short handed. No Esdor, no Frank. No Cavara tonight as well. It could take its toll. It certainly could. Flyers pushing forward, looking to take advantage of this surging momentum they seem to have at the moment. Nickerson brings it down in centre ice under heavy check. And Lee Salters plays a searching pass out to Captain Keith, who fires it right into the top corner. Captain Keith to the rescue once again. I tell you what, fatigue won't be a problem with finishing like that. Lee Salters, a great move. Passes it on to Captain Keith. Takes it a little bit on the inside, slams it into the top corner. Clan restore the lead. It's 3 2. Fritz to trim. Clan push on. Lovely searching cross ice puck. Fired in. Takes a bounce off the backboards. Harper fires it back round. Derek Rail receives it. Checks back inside. Still has plenty to do. Lovely close skills. Checks back. He finds Tristan Harper incredibly. And Harper. Fires one away, but the redirect takes it well over. Wonderful work from the clan. Great work from the clan, indeed. You're finding they've got that little bit of confidence in them. Anytime they move the puck around, anytime they look for a player, they happen to be there. That goal has helped that confidence as well. You can certainly feel it in this building. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. The players really getting a buzz off that as well. Of course, the last thing the clan want, and as long as they're in this title race, is needing to go to Kirkcaldy. The last game of the regular season, with that title still in the balance, my goodness, what a night that would be. Wow. And many fans, I'm sure the coach will hope that it's over by that stage, but it's Nickerson at the moment. He shapes up for a shot. Flyers power play. Push it, but it comes clear now for a short-handed Brayhead clan, with Stefan Meyer taking big strides. Takes a shot into the corner. Wonderful work from Stefan Meyer. The puck comes back. As far as the blue line with Fitzgerald, who fires it back in to Stefan Meyer. Meyer squeezes his way through, has a tussle with Nickerson. Some of the home fans felt like it was a little more than a tussle. Players take a tumble, the flyers stream forward. It's Rebar, backhanded pass, and Nickerson fires it in, but only comes as far as a blocker save. Derek Real now on the breakaway, has to get the afterburners on. Haynes comes back, takes a spin, gets a shot away. Does well to get the shot away in the end, really, there, Derek Real. Wonderful action though. He turns it out. Salters. Oh, you are my Salters. Wonderful work from Derek Rail. Turns it out. Finds Lee Salters. Who tucks it away for his 31st goal of the season. Oh, that is delicious. An absolute gift for Lee Salters. By far, not quite clean in the line. Great credit to Derek Rail for the way he created that. He found himself with an opening. Kyle Haynes denied him. The play had to stop somehow. The puck had broke free. There was Salt, a slap bang in the middle. Boom, 4 2. Short handed goal for the climb. 4 on 4 even. Well, 
Flyers under heavy check from Lee Salters. Wonderful work from him. Great hands Fight Stefan Meyer, who searched for that stick side. But it's a great stick side save from Kevin Regan. Wonderful work on the four check from Lee Salters. Keith and Reber at the face off. Drops in Reber. Loses out in the end. Jamie French. Jamie French on the puck. In the centre of Stefan Meyer. Takes one way. Fires it in for Lee Salters to chase. Digs it out really well. Back to the point. French to Keith. Keith with plenty of time. Just 17 seconds left on the power play. Jamie Fritz looks like he finds it. Stefan Meyer does. Oh my, oh my, oh my! Stefan Meyer, does he fancy that? Yes, he does! And Stefan Meyer scores his 31st goal of the season. Wonderful. Just picked it on the break. He certainly did. It came right for him. Again, another opportunity. Looked up, saw where he was going to put it. Did exactly that. Flyers are killed off in this game. For Brayhead, another two points closer to hopefully a league title. And when you look at how results have gone tonight, final end the night, five points clear at the top of the Elite League. Jamie Mellon pushes out. Puck comes for Fleming. Takes a wicked deflection. Lukasiewicz. Well, Kel Jones is just bundled into the goal there. Fitzgerald not happy with that one. Well, it was in the crease where it all happened. Kel Jones finding himself bundled into his own goal. Zappi Gerald getting involved. Jordan Fulton heads for the exit. Zappi Gerald heads for the penalty box. Jordan Fulton was hoping he could just head to the dressing rooms. Takes it behind the goal, takes that little bit of space that the Flyers needed to search for what would only be a consolation goal. Derek Rail with a heavy hit there. Takes a tumble though. Little battle, still a lot of fight left in both teams, but it's sold to Arson, pushing forward. It's got Arson with a nosebleed, pushing forward here, he gets the shot away. Oh, and Davis tried to follow it up. Well, there we are. And a few it's called there. Scott Arson was well clear, so the penalty shot comes in. Well, it was Scott Arson's chance. The crowd are on their feet for him. Not normally a player you would see taking a penalty. On usual occasion, Scott Arson snakes his way in. Interesting technique. Regan comes out, dummies it, fakes. Oh, it's a left block aside save. But the fans do not mind at all. They are 5-2 to the good on a night where the Steelers lose. Plan extending their lead to the top of the Elite League. Had it been a one-goal game or level at this point, it would have been very different. But uh, encouraging applause from the home support, nonetheless. Well, just 19 seconds left. The Clan fans on their feet, creating that noise. 15 seconds is the countdown as the Flyers pick up the puck and dig back inside. Four on four, putting your space on that ice. Interesting check there from Derek Rail. The stick check, but with just five seconds, three seconds left. The Flyers are resigned to it. It's the clan who extend their lead at the top of the Elite League with the news that the Steelers go down to the Coventry play tonight. It's a convincing 5-2 win for the Brayhead clan against the Flyers. And it's starting to look good at the top of the league. Yeah, but certainly is. Five Flyers consistency problems continue. Very good at home, not so good away from home. Same thing happened here tonight. They got themselves back to 2 2 at one point, but from there, Brayhead pushed on, winning 5 2 on the night. Another two points closer to the league title. That's them on 67 points now. I need to double check that. 79 is the magic number. Brayhead need to win this league title. Those two points go a big way towards that. So Zach, obviously back from suspension tonight and less than 30 seconds on the ice and the gloves were dropped. What was the, can you take us through the thinking behind that? Uh, it's kind of started with the big hit on Keith there. Um, you know, Nickerson's known to fight and uh, kind of you know, stir up the game and try to get things going. And, you know, he hits our captain and that gets, you know, boys on the bench, you know, they see that. And, uh, you know, it just 
for me personally, it was just to hop out there and kind of let him know that listen, you can't keep can't be doing that kind of deal. And you know, he does the same thing on his his end of the barn there, and uh, just that's how it was. That's how it's set up there. Yeah. Is there much thinking, obviously, with the clan being so short rostered and things tonight? Obviously, it's, the suspensions have been pretty heavy. Yeah. Recently, does that kind of go in through your mind sometimes to get these kind of things early out the way and it ended up working out quite well for Clan? Yeah, I mean, I think, <clears throat> you know, showing up for the fights, pretty much half the battle. You never know what's going to happen. You know, it's bare fists out there and you're, you're putting yourself at risk. But at the same time, you know, I've, I've, I've done it enough. I've been in that position enough where uh, for the most part, I know how to protect myself. But I, <laughs> I don't think I was really trying to protect myself tonight. It was just one of those, uh, you know, get the boys going and and uh, show that you know our captain is should be untouchable kind of deal and um, you know he was willing to go and I'm sure they wanted some excitement over there too and you know that's just how it is it's a fight you know it's uh, respect for the other guy as well you know he he puts himself out there too and and uh, you got to respect that. So obviously a tough result for Fife tonight but what was your plan coming into this game tonight? You know we knew it was going to be a, a tough uh, time to get two points uh, they've uh, played well at home here and we've had trouble here so I think we kind of tried to do uh, you know, focus on playing our game and uh, limiting our mistakes. And, you know, I don't think we were maybe very successful successful at that. That was a big result, obviously, last night, coming in with some confidence. Five have been really strong at home tonight. Obviously, it's another matter going on the road. Yeah, this has been a tough place to play. And, uh, you know, I think we've cleaned it up at home and we've been playing well at home this last uh, two, three months, which has been good. But, uh, you know, you know, we also want to try to get uh, pick up a few more road wins here down the stretch. Well, a fantastic victory tonight, a really solid victory. What do you attribute that to? Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, we're kind of playing playoff hockey now and, uh, you know, the last seven games, we, we kind of said this is kind of our seven game series and um, Fife played well, you know, they challenged us all over the ice and I thought we had a good start, obviously started with Fitzy and setting the tone here early and I thought we fed off that and controlled the first 10 minutes of the game. Yeah, what was the plan behind that? Was that something you felt was going to happen anyway and it was better it happens at the start of the game or not? Or did you have much in involvement in that? No, no, we didn't. We, that It just kind of happened out of nothing. You know, we, we had no plan for that at all. And, you know, but I think Fitzy in a, in a sellout building and, and he's just back in the lineup. He wanted to, to get set the tone and, and get the crowd into it and, and get, did a pretty good job. So boys fed off that and, uh, you know, we I thought we uh, it kind of got us going and got uh, got the energy going in the, in the building and obviously on the bench. And, like I said, but I thought, thought we controlled large parts of that first period.